I started off in Halsey Island looting people's homes. For some reason I felt bad doing this like the owners weren't all dead. And there wasn't a zombie apocalypse. I then found my way into this residence until I stumbled upon a camp carbine which I will never use because shortly after I found an SKS which I will also never use. I made my way into the power station to ponder all the exhilarating buttons. And then I looted a school out of all places as if I didn't already feel like crap after pillaging dead people's houses. I grabbed some new clothes, I killed a clown, and then I found myself an awesome Mini 14, which will suit me much better than a stupid little SKS. I looted a police station in Ashland and the town was surprisingly empty. I logged off for a few hours then came back and spawned. Not near Ashland, but on the island of Mackinac. So I swam all my way back to Ashland in hopes of killing some geared people. I found myself an M16A2, but I got myself into a small altercation with some guy I couldn't find. And then I saw him chilling on a roof. And then I guess the few shots I fired at him scared him away for some reason. Since everybody was scared of me, and I can totally win every single fight, I went towards some gun sounds. It turned out that was a bad idea. Shocker. I started fresh on Mackinac and immediately my looting instincts came over me stronger than your mother's farts. Sorry, I couldn't think of anything else for that line. I then found an insanely cool shirt on my way to the caves and it matched the vibe I was going for completely. I then found a bandana, which I couldn't be more happy about. My little Jesse James is starting to come together quite nicely. I then found myself an XM, which is probably my favorite gun because I get a lot of kills with it. So I was happier than your mother when she farts. I'm sorry I'm not very good with comparisons. I found another pair of pants which went nicely with my vibe because we all know fashion is the best way to survive a zombie apocalypse. I made my way into the cave, not really finding anything except for a device that boosts your health when you use medkits, which is pretty cool I guess. And then I just found some more 556 ammo for my XM. Making my way out of there, I was completely distracted by this new pair of pants when I was attacked. I easily disposed of him. Who do you think I am? Bad? I then looted his dead corpse only to find that he too had an XM, which made it a completely fair fight. If you don't get what I'm hinting at, it's that I'm super good at the game. Better than your mom's farts. I then took his ATV, which I was going to use to go to the town of Mortar. But then the engine just exploded out of nowhere, like your mo- Never mind. I went on foot and on my way I found another power station. Tempted to switch off the power, I decided not to out of the kindness of my heart. This is where things get interesting. As I was approaching the town, I spotted what looked like two individuals. I then decided to rush using a military health booster. As I was rushing, she just stood there and did nothing as I lasered her with my XM. I told you the thumbnail wasn't clickbait. Before looting her body, I looked around to see if there was anybody else, but I guess it was all in my head. I have schizophrenia. She had a coach gun as advertised in the thumbnail. So I just took her water and left. Proud that I had not one, but two kills so far. Go me. I looted a bit more of the island and then I went ahead and swam myself to Ashland once more. I went on top of the same roof the last crackhead was hitting me from, just so I can see if anybody was there. I then got the ballsy urge to go across town to the police station. And let me tell you, I got paparazzied by these mofos. As I was making my way around the police station, this happened and I had no idea where I was getting shot from. Round three, baby, let's go. This is where things take a huge turn for me. I make an awesome new Jesse James fit, and I think it boosted my skills because what you're about to see is absolutely wild. The first thing I did was loot this trailer park, and right off the bat, I got a backpack and a rifle with a scope. Not that powerful, but still decent. I noticed that some of these doors say inaccessible, which made me waste time looking for a key, only to realize that these were a work in progress. After that, I made my way to a quaint little abode where I found an M3A1, which I will surprisingly do the majority of my killing with. I heard shots by the school which compelled me to investigate. There was a lot of death going on around here which didn't really surprise me. I mean, it is a school. As I was sneaking my way around the corner, I saw a squad. I killed the first guy and my heart started racing as his teammate went after me. I took refuge in between the pillars and I waited for an opportunity to obliterate the person who was flanking me. Running out of bullets fast, I needed to figure out a way to clutch this encounter. I looted the person I just killed and I got backshotted. <laughs> Panicking, I rushed back to my corner to heal, but I couldn't be here for long as he was coming around. I started rushing inside the school and as he followed me, I turned back and gave him what he deserved. As soon as I killed him, the last squad member shot at me. I then made my way up to the roof to get a better view. As soon as I got my eyes on him, he made refuge behind a rock where we traded shots until I got so low in health that I had to go back inside of the school to reassess my situation. I couldn't find any medkits in here so I stealthily made my way down to one of the bodies and healed. 
I made my way back around the corner to the place where I got my first kill and I spotted a car that was trying to run me over. I had no idea what he was thinking but I killed him and he had a huge bag, a G3 and a car obviously so I went ahead and drove off to a safe location and processed what just happened. As I was prepping my G3 I spotted a freshie. I definitely spared him out of the kindness of my heart. Driving up on the mountains I spotted another guy who left before I could get him into combat. You could say that the whole server feared me now which is a huge step up from the previous portions of this video. As I was driving off, I found a squad, which I fled from, but I was going to come back later to finish them off. Who do you think I am? Flanking around the mountain, I went around vibe checking them and that made them very upset. I then took refuge behind a rock and started shooting at them with my rifle. After trading some shots, I flanked around again, honking my horn as if they didn't already know where I was. I got some good shots in, but I ended up taking a loss for this portion of the fight as I had no healing left and my guns ran out of ammo. Flanking around once more, I noticed that another intellectual besides me had joined the fight against these two goobers. <laughs> I drove past him and he must have thought I was done with the fight because I ended up going back and absolutely cheesed the kill. I went down to see what he had and it was perfect, a Tommy and some more meds, which is just what I needed to finish the fight. But I didn't even need the Tommy because I just ran this guy over and the other little snowflake just ran away. After looting these buildings once more, I was met with yet another homie who was so scared that he just went ahead and stole my car. I unloaded my new Tommy at him, but it wasn't good enough, so I just went ahead and chased him in this ATV to no avail if I could just figure out the damn controls. As I drove off winning two fights with two squads, I pondered my epic victory. It was okay that he stole my car, as long as he knew that I was 